Hi guys, so now we will integrate API for uh, remove item from cart and guys my throat is not well today so uh, for uh, voice please bear with me and uh, sorry for that and let's start with the points of this video so we have to make a service function uh, so that we can integrate API here for remove item from cart and uh, we will just uh, call this API once we'll just click on remove to cart and once we will just click to remove to cart and API will call then the total uh, item of cart will be uh, reduced also right and uh, one more thing like uh, if we will just refresh our detail page you will find that cart item is still working fine there is no issue but there is a bug so if we will just refresh our application on home that time you will find the cart item is zero there right and once we will just uh, reach again on detail page this is working fine so we will fix that bug also all right so now let's start with the first one and uh, let's integrate api so what i'm going to do i'm jumping on product service file and i'm making a one more function here remove to cart right and uh, we will use their cart id And the type of this will be number and uh, to just uh, save our tie and i'm just copying this uh, uh, line of code and i'm just making some changes there so the function will be delete because we are removing the item and we have to use the delete function for that in json server after that uh, we have to just pass this id as a uh, you can see that parameter so i'm just using a plus sign and putting their card id all right and after that what we need to do there uh, remove to card right and uh, uh, now let's uh, just call this api on remove to card button and for that let's open uh, product detail.ts file and here you can see that on uh, uh, remove to cart we are calling remove to cart function right on this that button so here is our function here you can see that so now what we need to do there we have to change the condition if user is logged in then we have to call the api otherwise you can just call remove item from cart this will remove the data from local storage once user is not logged in all right so just get back here and uh, to save the time what i'm going to do i am just copying this line and pasting there and guys uh, uh, this is the last video for remove to cart and add to cart after that uh, we will start working on uh, uh, cart order and all and we will add the address and other things right so i know that this module just uh, took long times but uh, this is a complex logic though so that we have to have to make five or six videos and that be done and after that let's make a else condition if user is logged in right then what we need to do so first of all we have to call this api and we have to just pass their cart id right and how we can get this card id you can uh, simply get it from here you can see that we are getting uh, that an item for the same card right so so that what i'm going to do there i am just taking a one more parameter cart data and the type of this will be product or it could be undefined as by default there is no data now what we need to do to there so if item has some length then this dot remove to cart uh, sorry cart data and if we can just push item and this is the basically uh, array so i am just using their zeroth element right all right so now what we need to do there uh, just get, get back on the remove to cart function just call this service product dot remove to cart and let's pass their dot id right and uh, we need to check there like uh, because it could be undefined right as we mentioned there on the top so we have to just put there that condition and we will just click on the subscribe and uh, it will return some result and now you can just call uh, the api for a uh, uh, cart list so that we can just update the card data right so this dot 
प्रोडक्ट डॉट गेट कार्ड लिस्ट एंड बट वी नीड टू पास देयर यूजर आई डी सो वी कैन गेट दिस यूजर आई डी विथ दैट वे राइट सो आई एम नोट राइटिंग द कोड अगेन बिकॉज वी ऑलरेडी लॉट्स रिटर्न इट लॉट्स ऑफ टाइम सो दिस सिंपली पुट देयर यूजर आई डी एंड इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू चेक लाइक वट वी आर गेटिंग इन दिस कार्ड डेटा राइट देन यू कैन जस्ट मेक कंसोल देयर फॉर अ मोमेंट and putting their card data and let's just see their this dot card data right and uh, once this item is deleted this get card api will be called again and as you know this will basically update the card count also from there right so that's why you will find that this item the card item uh, will be removed by minus 1 uh, reduced also okay so now i am just clicking over there and first thing that you can see that we got that card data here we have that id also and you can see that the card item is also removed by minus 1 right and let's say let's let's this item is also present in our cart so if you just want to remove this just click over there you will get the old card id like card id is 3 there and you will find that a card item is also 3 if you just want to check the api then these two apis are called once the api with delete method second one card detail api all right <coughs> sorry guys so now the less uh, the last thing that we need to do here they just you can see that if i am just coming back there or after refresh we have option to add to cart and if i am just adding it the cart item is increased and if i am just removing it cart item is removed but you can see that this button is still same so we have to just fix that also because once the item is removed it should be changed on to add to cart right so there is a line which is responsible for this this is uh remove to cart so what i'm going to do i'm just putting there for both conditions and now i think it will work fine right so if i'm just clicking on add to cart this is added item r4 there now 3 and we got again add to cart item perfectly working fine the next thing is as i just shown you if i'm just coming going on home and refreshing it the item cart item are removed from there so we have to fix this also so what we need to do there let's go to the header file because this is a common file for all pages and uh, here what you can do there inside if user is logged in then just simply call this dot product dot get cart list and let's provide their uh user data dot id right and this as you know that this api will basically handle the all cart data there in count also and all right and you can see that now we got the cart on home page also right if i'm just removing it you can see that we have a two item on there there is still two item and after reload still there is a two item so that's all for this part and guys please support me by subscribe my channel like this video and share your valuable feedback and if you just want to make some donation then this is my paytm number and paytm upi also thank you guys thank you for your time